the Umbrology Laboratory plays a crucial role in the in vitro fertilization process. It is very important for patients that need to undergo IVF treatment to do their research first. They not only need to search information regarding the reproductive endocrinologist, but also they need to learn where their embryos will grow and the expertise of the embryologist or technicians taking care of them. They need to know if there is a full-time PhD scientist with HCLD certification on site taking care of the embryos. Also, they need to know what type of equipment is used for the growth and development of the embryos. As an example, a patient may ask, how many incubators are there? How many patients are placed per incubator at a time? We would like to see between one to two patients per incubator to minimize the times that the door are opened. This is going to affect the environment of the embryos, so it's very important not to put many patients at the same time. It makes a big difference in the clinical outcomes when a state-of-the-art laboratory is built from the ground up with the sole purpose of growing human embryos. Some fertility clinics have their embryology lab in a regular office setting without having advanced air filtration systems, uh, without having well-sealed walls to prevent any uh, outside chemicals to reach our embryos inside the lab. We need to have embryo-friendly flooring specific type of paint and construction material that don't outgas toxic chemicals. Embryos are sensitive to microbes, air particles, volatile organic compounds in the air. If we think about this for a second, embryos don't have a defense system like a human organism. Humans have organs such as a liver, kidney and lungs that help us detoxify our body from harmful chemicals that we come in contact with. Also, our immune system will attack anything that gets into our body and will remove it. When a lab is not designed and built from the very beginning for the sole purpose of culturing human embryos, the success of embryo development and of achieving a pregnancy is affected. The embryology lab is always on the sidelines, but it does play a huge factor for a patient to achieve a successful pregnancy. In my opinion, I would say that 50% of that success comes from the physician stimulation and the other 50% comes from the laboratory. Our laboratory at Fertility Specialists of Texas was built from the ground up with the only goal of culturing human embryos. We have one of the purest air systems for our embryos in North Texas. We have world-class mini incubators capable of producing low oxygen concentration with very stable temperature environments to provide that extra edge of embryo development and of clinical success. We have the latest technology in laser systems and micromanipulation stations for ICSI, for uh, PGD and assisted hatching. Our micromanipulation stations are set in floating tables, air tables, to prevent any vibration affect our procedures. All of this is what separates an average laboratory to a world-class laboratory. This is one of the reasons we can provide our patients with one of the top pregnancy rates in the nation.